hi everyone welcome back to the another video of jenas academy so friends it's been a very long time that i produce a video well after a so long time i'm making this video on a different topic that is i just posted recently on my youtube channel uh, that is on the community page well friends in this particular video we are going to learn about the vikas engine which is used in the second stage of the pslv and the gslv these are all the space launch vehicles which we have seen in our previous videos well friends the main function of this space launch vehicle is to launch the satellite into the desired orbit of the earth so the satellite could be of any type that is communication satellite geo seismic satellites the uh, entertainment or as the television satellites that's ba basically falls under the communication type uh, or as the weather satellites gps satellites navigation satellites it could be any of the type so friends the main function of this space launch vehicle is to put all of those satellites into the desired trajectory well and in order to achieve that a spacecraft needs to travel a huge amount of distance and how does it travel like it has to produce a it needs to be produced a maximum amount of thrust and power required to to go and to travel that huge amount of distance and to travel that huge amount of distance well friends basically over here in the case of the PSLV there are four different stages the first stage that it consists of the strap on boosters and the solid uh, motors basically that is the HTPB engine the second stage consists of the vikas engine that we are going to see in this particular video the third stage again is the solid engine and the last stage is of the vikas engine so there are the series of the stages which are there in the PSLV and GSLV respectively so friends in this particular video we are going to learn about the uh, vikas engine which is there the in the second stage of the PSLV and the last stage of the PSLV what are the you know the features of the vikas engine how does it works like so all these things we are going to cover in our today's video so friends if you are new over here on my educational video please stay tuned watch the video till the end and please do subscribe to my educational channel so that i could get motivated and i'll try to make more of the videos i promise well friends let's begin with the today's topic of vikas engine Well, generally, friends, like this particular Vikas engine, during the 1970, like the scientists, they were trying to uh, work under the guidance of Vikram Ambala Sarabhai. He was a famous physicist and astronomer who initiated the space research. Well, during that particular time in 1970s, there was an engine that is developed by the France that was the Viking engine. So Viking engine is developed by the CNAS that is nothing but the government authority of the France. So friends that particular Viking engine is a big success which works on a gas generator cycle that is basically of open type gas generator cycle. Now this particular gas generator cycle which is used in the Viking engine is a massive success. But over here the problem is like how can we manage to brought all the parts all the raw materials to India. So we started, we tried to produce a similar engine, which is very, a, a very similar engine to that of the Viking. Uh, Vikram Sarabhai initiated that particular research. So this particular engine, which is developed later during the 1970s and the people, and it is named after the scientist Vikram Ambala Sarabhai known as the Vikas engine, which we are using today in the PSLV and GSLV respectively. So friends, this particular Vikas engine, if we look at the specifications, this particular Vikas engine is capable. It is like having a size very similar to that of a big banyan tree. So it is like around 300 meters of height. It produces the maximum thrust of 725 to 800 kilonewton which is very much massive also the engine chamber pressure running over here that is up to uh, from 58.5 up to 65 bar which is very much on the higher side the cycle which is used it is a gas generated cycle that is basically an open type well friends in this particular engine the main important propellant which is used that is nothing but the fuel and oxidizer well, fuel is stored and the oxidizer is stored in the two different tanks, which is there in the PSLV different stages, PSLV stage two. In 
Vikas engine basically. So friends over here there are two different tanks. The one tank consists of the fuel and the second tank consists of the oxidizer. So well the fuel and oxidizer comes in contact with each other, the simultaneously the ignition occurs. There is no third third party ignition media that required just like the spark plugs that we use in the IC engine there is no ignition source that required this particular fuel we can call it as a hypergolic fuel that does not need any external ignition source so when over here the fuel and the oxidizer comes in contact with each other the ignition occurs and we get a maximum thrust so that was the overall working I mean to say overall so let's get into the propellants what are the fuel and what are the oxidizer so over here the fuel which is used in Vikas engine that is nothing but the UDMH unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine so that is UDMH so basically over here the core component is nothing but the hydrogen because the specific impulse that is produced by the hydrogen is more so that's why we have not used the methane or any of the other media over here so over here the fuel is UDMH unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine and the oxidizer that is nothing but the N2O4 dinitrogen tetraoxide. So whenever this UDMH and N2O4 comes in contact with each other it produces it ignites huh? and it produces the thrust a huge amount of massive thrust which is sufficient for that particular Vikas engine to take a lift off. So that was about the simple working of the Vikas engine. So let's take a closer look at the different features of the Vikas engine. So well friends, this particular Vikas engine, like why it is used in the second stage? Why not in the first stage? Okay, in the PSLV, in the PSLV the first stage is that of the solid strap-on boosters. These are the solid motors like just we which uh, we use the rockets during the diwali these rockets when it is burned out like the when the fuel that's uh, gets burned out like it produces a thrust and it gets burned out so during the first stage like we require the maximum thrust vikas engine is capable to produce the maximum thrust but over here the solid engine that needs to be like uh, generated so so Suppose if the Vikas engine is at the first stage, so Vikas engine needs to uh, do the more work because the ultimately the first stage is at the bottom and the second stage is on the upper side in the PSLV. So over your friends you can see if the Vikas engine is at the downwards it needs to do the more work and it to, needs to carry the more payload because the ultimately the weight gets added. So during the second stage what happens the uh, bottom side the solid strap on motors they gets burned out the all the like the fuel all the propellants gets burned out the weight gets reduced and like during that particular time the rocket has reached to the optimal height optimal height or else uh, it cross the stratosphere so this particular uh, Vikas engine is there during the second stage not in the first stage so that was a different explanation also friends this particular Vikas engine is having a feature of gimbaling it could rotate it could swivel along the axis so right now there are many of the camera gimbals there are in the market just like the gimbaling so just like those camera gimbals which can move, rotate move in any of the directions this particular Vikas engine is also capable of gimbling. So over here, a better control can be achieved with the help of the Vikas engine. So friends, over here, we can achieve a better control and simultaneously the thrust which is required to move the rocket in a desired direction. So that was the some of the feature of the Vikas engine. So now friends, let's talk about the cycle which is used in the Vikas engine. Well, the cycle is very simple. It works on a gas generator cycle, which is of the open type. Well, friends, if you look at this particular representation, like this is a type of the Vikas engine. There is a pipe and a gas is coming off out from that particular pipe. So over here, this particular Vikas engine uses a gas generator cycle that is typically of the open type and the exhaust gas, which is coming out from that particular pipe. So what is exactly that 
gas generator cycle and how does it works like there are two tanks in the vikas engine that one contains the fuel and the other contains the oxidizer the fuel ex oxidizer they they both fed into the pumps like a centrifugal pump which is mounted on a single shaft okay now this particular centrifugal pump pressurizes the both of the propellants it increases the pressure and the velocity of the propellants and again this particular output of the fuel is then fed into the nozzle and output of the uh, oxidizer is then fed into the nozzle but there is also a pre burner which is stored there the there is a small amount of the pressurized fuel and a small amount of the pressurized oxidizer gets fed into this pre burner where the combustion is occurred and just because of this particular combustion uh, there is also another turbine gets which is mounted on the same shaft that of the that then that of uh, same shaft that of the pump so this particular turbine also starts rotating so whenever the turbine rotates it's also rotates the pump and ultimately this particular siphon becomes the self propellant like self driven type so this particular cycle becomes the self driven type cycle and ultimately the pump will try to draw the more the fuel and more the oxidizer and over here the efficiency will increase and friends at the nozzle like we can say at the nozzle when this uh, fuel and the oxidizer gets meet it produces it ultimately ignites and it produces lot of thrust also there are some series of the valves which controls the flow of the fuel and oxidizer respectively so just because by using those valves we can control the intensity and we can control the amount of the thrust by using those valves so that was a very simple explanation of this gas generator cycle well friends i will make a definitely a dedicated video on this particular topic so friends that's all about the vikas engine i think there is no rocket science in this type of the simple vikas engine which is used in the pslv and uslv respectively well friends this particular vikas engine is developed by liquid propulsion systems center in india alongside with the collaboration of the isro indian space research organization well friends this is the massive like a giant leap for the india to develop the vikas engine which produces the higher amount of thrust there are the series or there are the models of different different vikas engine also friends uh, the main important criteria over here is the mixture of the fuel and the oxidizer but there are the different cycles like how does the mixture occurs there are different n number of different cycles like there are alongside five to six type of the different cycles that is nothing but the pressure fed cycle gas generator cycle that is of the open type and the closed type type of cycle expander cycle full flow full flow stage combustion cycle and the electric pump cycle so these are the cycles like different different methods to mix the fuel and the oxidizer with each other so friends like in the same falcon 9 rockets it is also the same like it also works on the gas generator cycle so that's all about the indian vikas engine so friends i hope you have learned something from my video if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and friends please do subscribe to my education channel jinas academy jai hind vande mataram